Hey, hey, CJ goes live. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are in the lovely little town of Windber, PA. And uh, one of my students called me up because I live kind of close by, maybe about 25 minutes away, and uh, asked me to be her boots on the ground for a JV on a project here in Windber. So I'm out here today and uh, I want to remind all of you investors how important it is if you're doing virtual wholesaling how important it is to have boots on the ground and to see exactly what you're being pitched by your seller or by another wholesaler that you may be trying to daisy chain with so the report on this was that uh the arv on these properties out here is in the 130s 140s and the average sales price around 70,000. so we're looking at a property today that uh it looks like it may have some foundation issue. I'm not exactly sure yet because I haven't gone in, but I'm going to go in. And uh, th these are the kind of things when you have someone boots on the ground, they'll disclose this stuff to you because usually the seller is not going to try and tell you, hey, listen, you know, like I got a sewer line issue or I had this problem or that problem. They just want to get their money and get out of there. So I'm going to walk through this property today and we're going to see if the seller is telling us the truth about the property or if he's hiding something catch you in a minute so I always like to walk the neighborhood and see what the other house is like and this street is actually really pretty good this is like the worst house on like one of the best streets out here I'd say in Winber like these ones next door they're all well kept this is our subject property here grass hasn't been cut sidewalk ends in front of this property so i don't know if this the city will make you cut in a new sidewalk windows look okay where i already saw something going on and you guys will probably see it as i walk up to it now i'm not a foundation specialist but something's going on here i'm not exactly sure what it is and what it would take to fix it. It looked like somebody tried to do um, something with it. I don't know. I don't even know if that's stucco or something. It's horrible, whatever it is. But you know, here's what it is. Out here, looks like we got a garage. And huh, cool little back porch. I don't see too many issues right now with the foundation otherwise, but I'm sure I'll discover that when I run into the basement here. It's got a nice little lot. You got kids playing out here. And we're gonna meet the seller right now. So they opened the back door for me, not the front. Let's see why. A nice touch carpeted kitchens you gotta love these yes, hey they have an electric range drop ceiling it's not bad it's not bad carpet in the huh Let's see here Yeah, well, carpet's beat, obviously. Yeah. Walls are wood panel. I mean. Yeah, they're nice. So the wood grain type. Yeah, they're not bad looking. No. You could paint them, or I kind of would leave them as is. I these, would leave them as they were just video. These windows are, that's it's uh, boiler heat or steam heat, not sure yet. Windows are good. Double pane, argon. I don't see anything leaking out the windows, so that's a good sign. No handrail? Oh, wrong side. Yeah. Here's the front door. I don't know if they have power. Let's see. No, no power. No power. No power. Okay. Stairs. It's clean. The house is clean. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, bathroom. Kind of too dark to see, but it, it's clean. It's not scary. It's kind of like grandma's house and needs just updates. Big room. Big room, big room. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Well, kids, we know it's paint and carpet. So far, update stuff. Wow, big closet. There's like a walk-in kind of dealio back here. Oh, that's dope. So you have like a closet, then a hidden closet. I like that. Oh, got an attic too. Wow, big attic. <laughs> Look at this carpet. Oh my god. I could do a whole video just on this carpet. Drop ceilings, paint them, replace the, the uh, acoustics. Closet. Ample size for this size room, armoire. Good windows though. All the windows are like in pretty good shape. They're all in good shape. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can make a whole video on this carpet. <laughs> Holy cow. That's too funny. I mean, this is a paint and carpet job. The roof, the roof is good. I'm sure it's not leaking. I'm gonna go up there right now. I'm gonna check it out right now. Oh, big attic. Big attic, unfinished. Unfinished, but it wouldn't take much to finish it. This would be just like the one in Jennerstown. Yeah. Ample size. All right, we're going to go downstairs to the basement. Check that guy out. Oh, thanks for the light. Well, here we go into the Jason Voorhees basement. Hopefully Freddy Krueger is not down here, or Jason Voorhees, or Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. Okay. So, yeah, we got a slop sink here. It looks like it's connected. We got copper. All the copper is still here. That's a good sign. Basement's a little bit moist because it's unfinished, but that's easy fix. French drains, or maybe it's a downspout or a gutter. Water tank, still connected. Don't know the condition, won't know. I always just throw them away no matter what, start over. I got two inch line coming in, that's small. I would cut all that out. Can you shine over here? Let me find the panel. Okay, there's the furnace. Or it's, it's a boiler, so I don't know, it doesn't look bad. Oil tank, so this is hot, this is oil, oil heating in here. Oh yeah. There's a panel, can you walk with me to the panel? Thanks. All right, you all right? Oh God. All right, let's see what we got. What is that, 200? Nah, it's only a 100. So you got a 100 service. Uh, for a house this size, these days, you gotta take it out and put in a 200. So overall, I think there's some work to do but over here, if you can shine over here, this is where I was seeing this, fa oh, this is not big deal at all. No, no, this can be, this can be fixed from the inside. Yeah, this is, that is not a big foundation issue in my opinion at all. And it doesn't care, it looks like they built this wall at some point to shore it up because there was a foundation issue. But all this is, yeah, this is definitely all new block. So I'd say, let's see if I can get this open today. Yeah, chances, are, yep. This is all new block. So pretty cool. So this right here would not frighten me at all. This is something that's easily fixable. So I think that's about the end of the video. Uh, if you like scary basements like this, you can always come and take a ride with me. All right, so 
This is why it's important to have boots on the ground, people, so you know exactly what you're buying and exactly what issues you may encounter. So with that said, I hope this was educational for you. And if you do need boots on the ground in Western PA, I'm available. CJ Vance Lightman Steel City Houses, 26 year investor, landlord, play Xbox with the tenants kind of guy. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm available for mentoring as well. 412-330-7541. Have a wonderful indigenous day.